What's up, babies? You don't know, it is What Would Danique Do? We are back for another dope episode. And today, I have someone pretty cool with me. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm really gonna... I'm going to tease him a little bit mm. and I'm going to, yeah, mm. I'm going to throw some punches. No. Um, but we are talking about the great debate, sex on the first date. We're going to be talking Ooh. about sex. We're going to be talking about dating and we're going to talking about myths and all of those things attached to those two things. And of course, I want to introduce my guest now. His name is Kareem, but he goes by Boyate. Kareem Boyate, he's the one. Hold on. Well, thank up? you for having me. Thank you for yeah, being man, here. Yeah, man, and congrats on this new space thank and things. Thank you. You're doing Welcome great things and I love to it. To my home. Yeah, love it. Good energy. All right, so <laughs> yes. first question. Mm -hmm. Sex on the first date, how do you feel about it? Um, I think it's very subjective and I think it depends on the person. I think it depends on a lot of factors, right? right. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, if we're going to be frank, I think a lot of us why can't we be Billy? Why do we have to be Frank? Well, I mean, we can't be Billy, Frank, or Tom. <laughs> but I feel like we've all had sex on the first date at least once, right? So. Well, I speak for myself. I'm a queen. I joke. But a lot of us. I have. joke. I'm fucking sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if we, we might have met somebody, yeah. you connected, mm -hmm. um, and just the situation, the, 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 the timing, the place, the environment, bam, it happens, mm -hmm. right? But um, I think because of societal norms mm. and how society teaches it, we need to wait mm -hmm. and wait 90 days mm -hmm. and then you wait 120 days mm -hmm. and then you wait and then all of these things when a lot of times fucking on the first date have like spoofed a lot of great relationship or birth a lot of great relationship so. mm -hmm. and people get even married and have kids and there still the right now. I know that's right. So, yeah. My thing is women are always the first ones to turn up their noses when yes. they hear that another woman has yes. had sex on the first date. Yes. So, okay. What decides that for you? Because for me, I can tell you a secret. A woman knows even before the date if she's going to fuck you or not. Come on, yeah. Big facts. Um, all right. So for me, you can know. Uh, mm -hmm. Two scenarios here. Right. I meet... This girl say Becky mm -hmm. and I meet Carla. Why does she have to right? be Becky? Becky on the night um, gives me frisky. You know, really seem like this is this is not her first time having a one night stand. Oh wow, that's just not the Becky on, I know. But okay, know, continue. And then Carla, you can maybe tell that yo, so she's just really vibing. So with Carla you. is a whore. No, Becky is a whore. <laughs> oh, Becky is a whore. Becky is a whore. Right, yeah, Becky is a whore. Like Becky, okay, well, let's not right. use whore. Sorry, right, I'm, whore. I'm sorry, guys. But you I'm can sorry. just tell... Becky a hoe. It's okay, that, Becky a hoe. You know, she has done it multiple times. Right, right, right. Versus right. somebody whom this is not the norm for her. Yeah, and you hold on. Tell. Let me just add, there's no shaming here. It's all jokes, no, sir, okay? No, sir. It's all jokes. Yeah, it's all yeah. jokes. Okay, continue. Right, um, so you can tell. Mm -hmm. I'm just based on body language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type of conversation. True. But some people, they do lie a lot, though. Like, oh, this is my first time doing this. I never know is oh no my god and, but and some people too do have that energy yeah. that you know you may think they're experienced but they just have this yeah bout yeah. of experience this energy that says something else yeah and you know first time you got her is probably like mm, you've yeah. never done this before have you right so and that's I, carla right that would be carla okay um but for me i don't but like i said i don't judge right because then i'll be a liar Right. right. Um, and we because, don't do that. Jamaican men don't lie. And Jamaican men don't lie, nor do we cheat. Um, but for me, I must say that I've had a lot of one night stands mm -hmm. that were great. We became friends or, you know, it has spun into a relationship mm -hmm. or one night stands. I'm going to say, mm -hmm. oh, what time you do this? You know, what time you say I'm in one party? You're a whore. And okay. you see my you just say, yo, yeah, man, you're going to give him the fete. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not the first time. The fete? Yeah, the fete. The fete? Yeah, fete. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like an axe gun, no. The flete, the Karim? Nookie. Yeah, yeah. The flete? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Continue. Yeah, yeah man, but I, 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 I just think that it just all boils down to, once again, society. And until we can destigmatize some of these things, like, you know, what is the norm, what makes a lady, what makes a gentleman, what makes a good relationship, until we we um, normalize having these same conversations that we're right. having right now. Right. Then we'll notice that everybody's situation is different. Okay. There's no manual to me to a relationship. I agree 100%. So for you personally, do you know whether or not you're going to have sex on the first date? I'm never Beforehand. Against, I'm never against it. You're never yeah, against I'm, I'm it. I'm never against it. I'm not going to tell you no lie. Um, mm. um, right, no. So you have no standards? You have no boundaries? No, I'm not going to tell you no. 
So right now in my big age, right? Um, you know. Cream, aren't you like 21? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm very experienced. And you know what somebody did outside. You're Orion. But then. But but. Um, so right now I am more. Um, boy or whore? Not joking, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> boy or whore. That's a good one, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But I'm more cognizant of um, my standards and boundaries. And yeah. Sex is not like the main thing right now. Because right. I've been there, done that multiple times. Right. The orgies, the free the right. excitement. Mm -hmm. So you know, so right now, but it's not going easy. Uh -huh. You understand? Okay. But but not the wrong, like, you know, part time you're good on a situation, I go for the first date. Speak for yourself. You yeah, want to knock it, man. You want to knock it. Have sex. You well, want to have sex. Yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. Oh, you're just yeah. fixing on yeah. yourself. Okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So for me, I agree with you. Yeah. I feel like, and like I said before, women know, like, we know before we go on that date whether or not it's going to end the way you want to. Yeah. But do you feel judged? Like if you had sex on the first before, night, do you think that the guy would judge you? Before, mm, no, I've never ever felt like the guy would judge me. I've always felt like other people, other women would judge, would judge you if they, right. if they knew. Yeah. And that was before, um, you know, when you're young and, you know, you don't really understand yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, you don't really know anything. But kind of growing up now and at my big age, it's just like, yo, whatever. Like, we're not the worst than me. Yeah. Like, I don't really care what you want to say because a lot of people, a lot of people are in the closet. And when I say in the closet, I mean about their personal life about their sexual capacity about like come on like do, I, I just feel like judging somebody for having sex on the first date like first of all we, we have a test to care okay and you don't you test drive a car before you buy it you should i so too you should because suppose you can buy the car and then it's have a whole heap of problems what if i wait 90 days that? and then the, the sex happens i would be what? so fucking upset if i wait 90 days and your penis is small so I big would penis matters to you? Not really big. So small penis no, don't no, no. matter, Danique? No, small penises don't matter. Quote me. They don't. I'm not to me. But not too big either. I'm good with average. Okay. I'm okay. good with average. So yeah, average is nice. Let me tell you something. Tell men me. are catfishing you, you women now, you know. Right? Okay. I've seen a lot of these conversations on Twitter uh -huh. where men, they're taking other people's penises off the internet and are sending good old man them and then when I meet them in real life, how many it's not... dicks are in my DMs? It's what? disgusting. Like, I always wonder, like, a perfect stranger. Yeah. You don't know me from nowhere. You've never met me before. I think people are in your life. I think so. Hard drugs. I really think they're on hard drugs. Too. <laughs> so hold on. Do girls send you... Yeah, man. Flet yeah. Flet yeah, even, um, even unasked. Um, so can I just dash out all fun? Let me just say this though. That right? Men have feelings too, you know, right? So Sometimes, just I want you to ask me about my dates too. Like, maybe not every day. Kareem! Kareem! Wow! Kareem! Wow. Okay, I'm no, just I'm, kid, I'm not. I'm not. Right? Like, okay, so you want your date to be asked about, you want to you yeah. know that you're careful. Like, kind of every time, really, you know, the whole sex conversation. Not right. all the time. Okay. So you can just, just be having a rough day. Right. You know, we work on the radio, we can have an off day. Yeah. We, we have those sometimes. Yeah. And then you know, go thinking about the off day, and right. then you just say, I put the picture. Mm -hmm. No, the conversation wasn't even anywhere. Was it pretty? What is pretty, though? Oh. What is a pretty? Pretty no, everybody has a different dynamic about what they, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So but you know, I right. like I like a nice butterfly. A nice butterfly, wow. The wings are not too wide. The wings are just tucked in just right. <laughs> what why are you laughing? <laughs> ah, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. I have butterfly. never yeah. heard of a vagina. Being described yeah, in that way before, but you know, like some That's butterfly very poetic, wings are like friend. very, you know, very what, very like very what? wide, very the um, lips. I'm very mind. Some women don't have any control over that too, right? So, so let's talk about that, right? Too. Like women don't have control not, over their vaginas, but it's just a preference. Just like oh, like some women want to have big wooden them. Um, I know. I've always wondered like how they want these donkey things. You know, it, it stresses me out. Like the the vaginal cavity is four inches deep. Like, so what do you call big? You? What? What do you call big then? I, it's not my interview. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah. It's my show. Fuck out of here, nigga. Okay. You got me on that. So one. okay. So <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. dating now. Yeah. So how does I want to ask you in a way that doesn't sound like a way, mm. but like how do you think we can make sex less transactional because i feel like that's what it's become now 
Okay. Less transactional. Like for me, my mom told me a story a couple of months ago. She was telling me that it's always been like that. It's just that now we're in a social media age where it there's a platform to showcase everything. She's like, remember back in the I think it was the 18th century or the 17th century when women were actually ladies of the night. Yeah. They were called. So if you weren't a lady of the night, you were a wife. No. And if you weren't a wife, you were still living at home with your parents. And then if you were like 60, if you were 18, mm-hmm. you were considered old, 18 and unmarried, right. you were considered old and nobody know why. Nobody you. So, you know, why. they'd have to, you know, kind of marry you off from the time you hit 16 yeah. and all of that. So do you agree with that sentiment that now sex has become more transactional or has it always been the same level? But just now that we're seeing it more, it seems that I way. have a friend who is a um, woman. Her name is Emma, by the way. Emma is one of the most honest woman that I know Mm -hmm. and she's always said it sex is okay to be transactional she's like it is transactional to me okay right because she's like for me personally I am giving you my body right and I'm not saying you're paying for it with money but maybe you're paying for it with the date or you're giving me a good time or um, just I wanted to get off you know a come and you do it for me. Like, there's nothing wrong with it being transactional. Or if we're honest, like, hey, here we're going. Mm-hmm. This is not a full-blown relationship. Right. Right. I think people need to be more honest about that. Right. Mm-hmm. Please. Mm-hmm. And it cannot be sex. We'll talk about that. Mm-hmm. But also, you know, you can pay one or two bills. I don't think there's nothing wrong with, you know, saying that. I just think mm-hmm. it's the way that society how has. It's, how, how society kind of looked down mm. on it. True. Like, oh, my True. God. We all have sex. Yeah. For our own benefits too. So you're saying it's okay for girls to fuck for KFC? No, when it's a KFC, like I mean a 21 piece or, or like... Hot wings. Uh, Meal hot deal. Wings. Big deal. I mean, Trusty not But here's the thing. Uh-huh. Life is about survival of the fittest. Okay. Now, is it the right thing to do? I who is to judge, right? Like if right you need wrong. a meal right. and your vagina is that ticket for that meal, Ooh. then then you got to do what you, you got to do. Hey, the way you position that, yeah. nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's my honest answer. But would I wife somebody like that? Absolutely not. Okay, so what makes a wife for you? I think it, it all depends on where you're at in life. Mm-hmm. Because for me, like body counts and something that don't really matter. Mm. But I think that we do need to have the conversation though about, you know, like some of your partners. Like Why instance, does a body count matter? Well, well, it doesn't matter to me. Good. I'm saying, I'm asking you why. That's um, the first time I've ever heard somebody me, say that. Because we're all having sex. Like we've you all... You don't know that. I'm a virgin. Well, well even better. But... Um, I come with the realistic uh, expectations, yeah. right? And a lot of us, we live in this fairy tale life, like unicorns and, mm-hmm. and rainbows only exist. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Body count doesn't matter. But what's your, what's your number? That, what's my number? What do you, what number do you, you what do you think, what number do you think is too much in your head for a woman, for a woman? to have slept with? What's her age? Oh my God, I don't know. 25. Like 25? Maybe like a 30 good. I'm about it. I'm about it. Because, no, what if she had like a crazy college experience? I went to university abroad, mm-hmm. right? Like, you're well traveled. Mm-hmm. We know what happens in the States. Don't and put things. numbers on my coochie. But I'm just saying, like, don't double up my coochie numbers. We've all had whole faces. No? Excuse me? Well, majority of us, no? We've all had what? Well, well, we should have whole faces, by the whole, way. Oh, whole faces? Yes, yes. We should. Uh, it's important. Whole faces are so important. They are important. I'm happy you brought it up. No, for real. Whole faces are important. They are. For a lot of different reasons. Because Give once you now you're married or settled down too early, too young, without really experiencing different sexual partners, mm. different sexual experiences, mm-hmm. um, once you're now tied down in a marriage, it's wow. sort of like mm. a wow i want to experience new things and i don't really know how to maybe your your partner is boring Mm. you know so once you've gone it out there you just have it out for the married people then yeah man because some of them married and miserable and it's because they really didn't experience um i agree with you you know sexual you You remember that movie was that teleprint movie um temptation where they got married young and then the one I time she fucked funny. I was talking about him, that movie the other day. She got AIDS. She got AIDS and I'm on that Yeah, you call God work. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whole phases are important. They okay. are important. All right. Um, numbers are not important to me. I'm happy to hear you say that. I just want you to tell me, like, if you know that I'm in media, mm-hmm. you know, you can't make me know. Mm-hmm. Boy, I was with 
X, Y, Z before. So what difference is that going to make? Just because of familiarity purposes. Okay. And, you know, we might so be let's the same say, spaces. let's say you, you, you and your girl are dating. Yeah. You go outside. You're outside. You're in at a party. Mm-hmm. And she hear like three man. And three man when she hear is for the three of them. But she never tell you. Yeah, but I mean, Are you better know. with not knowing? Or do you want to know? I don't care. But that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. how what, what, what would be the difference in how you act seeing her greet these All three right. men? You see, if she... Told me before. Yeah. I wouldn't care. I okay. am the man. No, I'm, I'm so confident in myself. Mm, I know that. Say no, I'm gonna stand up like yeah, that man. I know. I might think this. That now. I know for sure. Yeah, yeah. But if she never tell me, me have me to listen. Me no. Yeah, I understand. I'm twelve or thirteen. But if she never tell me no, yeah. And you know, man love chat. True. And then well, she be ill yeah, the three man yeah. them, and then one little bird near the party said, why? You know what's a chance them three man? Mm. Oh, that, that that hurt man. Okay, so that's the problem. That's that, the that issue. Is the problem. So that's the issue when she doesn't tell you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's yeah. why you want to know. Okay. It's I fucked with that. I fucked yeah. with that. I fucked yeah. with that. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 I'll give you that one. Okay. So I want to. Touch yourself. Anytime you start laughing, I was mm. tell the truth. My to God. Oh. Dating for you. Yes. What are your peri- parameters for dating? Do you want to dumb down the question just a little bit for me? Because. All right. So is... a lot of people don't understand. And I want us to do a good job of explaining what dating is okay. because I feel like a lot of people, especially Jamaicans, I mean, I'm not trying, I'm not trying no, to knock definitely us, Jamaicans. Facts. Yeah. Jamaicans do not understand what dating mm-hmm. is at all. Yeah. So. Well, if anybody listened to my platforms or mm-hmm. listened to me, then you would have heard this explanation 500 times. Mm-hmm. To me, dating is an audition of many different people. Right. Um, you can't, if you're not dating exclusively, that mm-hmm. is, because there are different tiers, okay. right? So dating... So it's dating, dating exclusively, and then a committed relationship. And then a committed relationship. Got so you. dating, no. You have a lineup of prospects, you know, people that you like. So dating exclusively would not be considered a relationship? Not necessarily. Because okay. dating exclusively can mean that we are now only dating each other, but we've not yet committed to say that this is a, a, an actual relationship, right? We're in that phase of really making that step, that commitment. Mm-hmm. But I've dropped all my holes, you've dropped all your holes, mm-hmm. and now we're in this phase. Mm-hmm. But Jamaicans don't date. Mm-hmm. We link up on social media, mm-hmm. send two DM, like two pictures, see each other outside, exchange numbers, we talk two times, then we're in a relationship. Right? We're there. And then we're there. Mm-hmm. Uh, dating, you should, once again, mm-hmm. put like multiple people. Mm-hmm. And it's not asking like, what's your favorite color? Right. What is your style? Yeah, yeah. I want to observe you. So I like dating. It's not just dinner dates either. Like, mm-hmm. so you have kids. Mm-hmm. I want to maybe, you know, observe you around your kids. Mm-hmm. I want to observe you around your friends. But would, would you, because for me, that, that would be a no for me. And that is fine. Well. Understandably. Yeah. Yeah. Because but like, I want to see you in different environments. Right. Like your so family honesty, morals. Honesty is important too. Hon- yeah. And communication. Because then what if me and you don't know and your beliefs on religion. As in with that Jamaican day or we actually We're in a relationship now. Okay. Right. And then you're, I'm not finding out all of these things about you that yeah. You don't really believe in family, and I am big on family. And wow. you don't really believe in religion, and yeah. I am such a religious person. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, That'd so that's wrong. what dating is. Okay. You have to find out them because of it. Okay. So, and you yeah. believe in dating multiple people at the same time. Multiple people at the same What's time. What's your number? And then, well, it can be like a five or six, and then you narrow oh, down. No, you're a whore. I am. Wow. No, boy, a whore. Thank you. Oh my God. Wow. So dating six people at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Do you have intentions when you're dating these six people at the same time? I'm just trying to break it down from a male perspective. Um, it depends because then it could just be just a casual date. It could just be just you know us just going out for drinks. Maybe you know after having a conversation like us sitting down for like two hours. Mm-hmm. I, what kind of conversation? Like tell me some stuff that you guys are gonna like. Talk I about. might just. I mean, obviously, I might not just dig deeply into no politics mm-hmm. and not and all these things, but I'm gonna kind of pick your brain on like social things. Like, okay. oh hey. What do you feel about the whole thing we are going with the new passports that, you know, Jamaica have? And then right. you might be like, passports? What are you mm-hmm. talking about? Mm-hmm. That's a no-no for me then. Right, okay. Because we have You're to somewhat... You're not culturally aware. Right. Right, okay, You don't you. have to be... But I know that constitutional law is this and that, but okay. you're aware. Got you. When do you start fucking raw? Oh, wow, jump right in. I mean, we can fuck raw on the first date, but... Wow! <laughs> but... My nigga! But! Oh my god! It has happened, Danique! Danique, things happen, people. It's not right. You should have protected sex at all times. Let me just say that. 
and you should also get tested very regularly. Let me say that, but things happen, especially in, in my younger time. You know, you go outside, you never plan for do nothing. You plan for go out with a bridge in them and go, and go, go and party. You're under some NEC and I all these things. Or Casamigos. And then we are Casamigos for the holes and then bam. So, okay. Yeah. So fucking wrong on the first date. It's okay. No, 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 it's not okay. It's definitely not okay, but it has happened. Okay. I'll be a liar if you, I say do that. Do you regret it? If I regret it, no, I don't have regrets. Okay. Though I've listened to what I don't have great. Right, right. Okay, so yeah. did you have a, a memorable lesson? Um, I'm just, I mean, yeah, like day? pregnancy scares are something that, because I don't want to pick it in the Natalia. So you say that pregnancy scares something that I feel like I'm all baptized. So, I, but I don't understand. Like, I feel like the minute you fuck raw, yeah. you're ready to become a parent. But I feel I like know. we know what hangover feels like and we drink sometimes and we will so it the next chasing, day. So stop chasing your liquor with juice. But then, Chase it the with thing. water. Here's You'll be thing. fine. That is the reason Matilda said, no, you know, I Tell don't me. have unprotected sex anymore because that pregnancy hmm. scare and the possibilities of the STDs Never? and things like that. Not to them more. Never? No, not to them more. Not to them more. The last time I had unprotected sex was, was was maybe like 2020. What was her sign? What would, I, I don't even know her damn sign. Do you even remember her name? Yes, I remember her name. It was a birthday gift to me. Raw sex as a birthday gift? You would date some we, cheap we, ass. No, hold on. What? No, 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 hold on. What? I'll give you the quick scenario. Tell me. I normally have things weekend. Right. A bunch right, of us right, normally right. go true. down that's to true, a that's hotel. True. Yes, that's true. Things like that. I know that. It was just that she was there. I was there. The weekend is kind of wild. You're uh -huh. mixing all sorts of different elements. Uh -huh. We didn't plan to have sex. Uh -huh. All but the birds them yeah. leave. Stuff it like happens. That happens. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the last time. But then. Pre the pregnancy scare came, oh, was and her. then I'm just like, this so you is almost my got two birthday gifts. I mean, mm -hmm. that was about my tenth pregnancy scare, and then I just said, you know, I thought about that. Right, you just out here in relationships. It's fine if you're getting tested together. Get made. We don't have a problem. So you get tested together. Did you, you get should. tested with that girl? Not that girl. Wow. So you probably have HBV you now. No, I get I'm tested. Joking. I'm joking. I, I just got I'm tested two weeks ago. I'm fucking with you. Thank I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so yeah. I just want clarity and I want to yes. make sure that the viewers are paying attention and yes. that they catch what you're throwing out. Yes. So fucking raw. Is a no-no. Is a no-no. Yes. You shouldn't do At it. At all. You shouldn't fuck around. <laughs> you shouldn't. Yo, these, you are scared you shitless, my dude. Unless you're in a you committed relationship. You should never fuck around. Unless right? you're in a committed but relationship. But that's what I was trying to get to. Like, when is it okay to start doing that? But then in the week, here's the tricky part about it. Uh -huh. Because my laws of unprotected sex yes. now is, we're now committed. Uh -huh. We're now getting tested. Uh -huh. Right? I don't trust her. I don't trust the girl. Things can happen. Demon, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> but some people out here, them just have unprotected sex. You've never gotten tested before. Right. You don't know your partner's status. Very and, true. And we think that, you know, STDs and STIs have a look. It really doesn't. They don't. You know? They so don't. then you get knocked. Yeah. So, Especially HPV. And we don't talk about that. What anymore. is that? Explain that's it to your viewers. Yeah, that's something that I talk about a lot because the human papilloma virus, mm. It can cause cervical cancer and it mostly shows up, it shows up in men too, but mm -hmm. there are no symptoms of sorts in men. Like men will never know they have right. it. But women can actually die from HPV. Mm -hmm. It usually goes away on its own. Go away on it usually goes away on its own. Mm -hmm. But it's something that's very it's common. Yeah. So it's like a cold sore. Yeah. You know, everybody yeah. gets afraid when them hears their cold sore is herpes one. Right, but it's, right. it's 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 whatever. It'll do what it does and then it'll go away. HPV is kind of the same thing, so but in the event that it doesn't go away, mm -hmm. you can get cervical cancer, mm. men can get anal cancer and mm. penile cancer from HPV. Yeah, I did a whole I did a whole study on it. And the thing is, you will never know you have HPV unless you get tested for HPV. Only so have you can yeah. with your committed partners. I beg you, please. Get tested, even though you're committed. And get tested, and even when the because sometimes too, that's a very uncomfortable conversation. I don't know why. It, it, it's because it's, it's like when people are afraid to say period. Yeah. I know. It's, it's stupid. Right? But I'm going to have that conversation. Yeah, like, if should. I want to go raw, yeah. here we go on. Come get tested together. Hmm. Yeah. It could be a nice, a good date, and we'll have ice cream after. <laughs> Not ice cream. Yeah. Come on. 
Are your children? Good, tested and then go get go some ice cream. Go to Devon's. Sit have, on the lawn. Sit on the lawn. Spread out the picnic blanket. Mm, sit on. on the lawn. Eat yeah. that ice cream. You're mm. an idiot. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite? Okay, we're gonna do signs of love making right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is your favorite sign to be with? Oh, are you dating right now? I don't even know if I'm dating. Wow. That's, I am that's in heavy. a weird situation. Shit. Okay. Okay, a situation. Yeah. Shit. Like, okay, we're that. having. So you're not dating outside of that? No. So you're just in the situation. Shit. Right. Okay. Because I want this one person right now. So you understand? Oh, Remus. But are then, you in love? No. Wow. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I don't think so. Because we've not had that conversation yet. Like, you know, yeah. what is going on? But <laughs> watch love out. But anyway, what was watch the question that you're asking? Love. That's my favorite sign to ah! oh What is your favorite? What has been your favorite sign to that you've been with? The thing is, I've I've been with about five Aquarians. Oh, Those so you have a thing for Aquarians. The end of January, yeah. Mm -hmm. To the first part oh, of February. So you have Asego? a thing for January Aquarians. I don't know if they have a thing for me. Ah, got you. So You're so a Sag, five. right? I'm a Sag. Oof. Um, so five. So I won't necessarily say it's my favorite sign. Mm -hmm. I, I think my favorite sign thus far is a Scorpio because it was so toxic. And Are I you dating a Scorpio? Is your Scorpio your situationship? No, it's a Gemini. Wow. What do you know about Gemini? Mommy. What do you know? You're about? not his favorite, baby. What do you know <laughs> about Gemini? Just in case you're watching right now. Um, I'm afraid of Geminis. I've never been with a Gemini, but I have witnessed my friends in relationships with Geminis and They're they are people. toxic. I mean, I love toxic. They are, no, but they are toxicity mm -hmm. on steroids from what I've seen. Yeah. Now, maybe I've just never seen a matured Gemini or yes. a Gemini that's doing the self work. A Gemini yeah, yeah, that's trying yeah, to yeah. Be, yeah, yeah, but. Mm. All right, well, favorite sign I think is a Scorpio and because like we had a very. Water signs are dope. We're amazing. I'm not a really? Scorpio, but I'm a water sign. Yeah, okay. water signs are amazing. We're, we're, you know, yeah, we're dope. Okay, what has been the worst sign you've ever dated? You will never ever date them ever again. A Scorpio too. Because <laughs> <laughs> one of my worst you know breakups, one of my worst relationships, yeah. it was so toxic. Yeah. Like it was. When I said toxic, I mean it was one of those relationships where you know that you should come out. I've never been with a Scorpio. No man, I tell you man, it is. And I'm a little bit crazy, though. Yeah. Right? And I love. A little, you're a Sagittarius, brother. You're not I a little love crazy. The excitement. You're a holy crazy. But like, it was crazy. Sticky. Like, uh, she popped up at parties in her pajamas. Okay. Type of crazy, like just to see what I was doing. Like she heard that I was at um at the time it was top what floor. Why didn't know? And she just come in her pajamas. No, I never licked my chick them way you know. I mean, you've never been with a Sag before. No man never licked my chip You've yet. Never been with a the man never left me yet, and the man never licked my chip them with it. <laughs> so, mm, I know no, that's but right. do have that no, thing. No, you though. don't. I have been with a Saj. No, you don't. He's not the right Saj. <laughs> Your favorite idiot. <laughs> never right again. Never again. Yeah. Okay. Sagittarius is a no no on my list. We can be a little bit. Um, I like how you really are, are really giving it up for your sign, though. I love that. No, man, we can be a little bit, uh -huh. you know, rough around the edges. Uh -huh. We can what be a little bit. What sign would you want to double back with? Just don't say Scorpio again. Jesus have mercy. I, I would am. like to try um, the situation ship right now, the Gemini. Oh, okay. I would really never love been with one. for it to work because I've never been with one before. I mean, you guys can work. That's what fire and air. She'll blow you out if you... <sighs> mm. But am I fire strong body underneath? Mm. Yeah, man. You're fire coming like... like Cool it up, you know, man. <laughs> Not the you know, cool it up. <laughs> you know, yeah, man, like, it just don't leave you alone. Like, even when you want to leave, like, I will let you leave. But you're just always coming back. So you are you always the one to leave your relationship? Always. I've never, nobody never left me yet. Same. Never. Same. I'm a feel proud come, proud come, of come, that. Come. Yeah. <laughs> never. Me because too. I'm that great. I, I, I. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm that good. That good. I'm that girl. But, you know... The thing is, afterwards, mm -hmm. um, I, I've just heard that, you know, it was just so emotionally draining. And, you know, so why w were you still trying to double back? You know what? The thing, what we do as women, um, we always want to try. We always want to put our best foot forward every single time. 
we always want to give the benefit of the doubt mm. every single time. But, you know, I feel like a lot of the times women don't know how to draw that line. It's like it's, it's, it's the difference between what you need to do versus yes. what you want to do. So you know that you need to let this man go. Yes. Or vice versa with men. Too. Yes. But you can't, but especially women, because we just. But then, man, I know how to let woman eat. But the funny thing is, I will be the first person to tell you to go. I will be the person to tell you to choose yourself. I'll be the person to tell you that I, you're not deserving of what is happening right now. I'll be the person to tell you that you deserve more. I'll be the person to tell you that I am not what you want right now because I'm not ready, right? Mm -hmm. But then you still want to stick around because women love projects. So they feel like, oh my God, you seem so broken. I, I can fix you. I read something before uh, before I came into this interview and it was very profound. It says that people go through relationships based on where they are in their mm -hmm. growth life. Mm -hmm. So if you are unhealed, yes. then you'll project certain things right. like that. Like, yeah, I want to fix you. Because I was that, like, right. that. I was a Mrs. Fix-It. Right. You know, I want to fix you and turn you into who I see that you could yeah. be versus accepting you for who you are. And you said that's a thing to, back to the dating thing. Yeah. That we need to also bring up in our conversation. I agree. Like for me, I tell you all of my flaws and and faults and every single thing. Get them out of the way. I tell you that I'm not a good communicator. I tell you that I'm not expressive. I tell you that I have problem with, um, you know, commitment mm -hmm. and I have problem expressing myself and mm -hmm. showing love. Mm -hmm. So I tell you all of that from the get go. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm, and I will let you know that um, you can't change me. Mm. I'll let you know that I am a work in progress, but it's on my timing. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know that you, I don't care who you are. I am the prize. I'm in a business, but nobody wants it. Every single time. Ten of man is supposed to feel like I'm the prize. Mm -hmm. I am the prize. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Um, because I have boundaries and standards as a man, and we're supposed to mm -hmm. as men. Mm -hmm. But I'll let you know all of my flaws mm -hmm. before tricking you into thinking that I'm something that I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love the confidence. Yeah, May I go to you? Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, so... To close out, I just want you to find answer this question. Yes. Oh, one last time. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw you under the bus. I promise you. All right. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Sex on the first date. I didn't know. Just overall. No. You know I. You, what we'll do is, <laughs> we will cut this and go back to the place where he said yes. That I'm okay. going for. I, Ah. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> Guys, this is what with Denise do. You're locked in. This was Kareem Boy. I think it's Kareem. Thank you so oh much. Goodness, so much fun. I know. You're not going to wait. Just Don't hold on. Time. Sit tight. We got more <laughs> where that came from. Up next is Sweat Check. <laughs>
why did I break up with that person? Mm -hmm. Because I got tired of the relationship. Wow. Yeah, I got bored. What sign did you come on the most? Come as in come. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is getting frisky. <laughs> oh, wow. Um. One. As in the same person or Two. or 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 no 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 hold Three. on hold on hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. as in the same person or no what sign okay. did you come on I the would most? say one Aquarius Two. wow yeah so it's been a lot of I guess they got good skin because you know a hair sperm does that for you good, okay good skin yes what definitely. sign question four what sign did you come in the most <laughs> okay <no. laughs> uh what's the sign of September Three. the end of September. What's that sign? Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. So we have some Libra come buckets walking around, I see. Well, okay. from the womb to the two. Ah, from the womb. <laughs> from the okay. womb to the two. Okay. Okay. Yes. Final question. Jesus Christ. Are you ready, Kareem? Yes. You are going to have five seconds yes. to answer this question. Mm -hmm. You cannot stutter. You can't stammer. You can't take a break. You can't take a deep breath. You just have to fire. I'm so nervous for Okay. This. Are you ready? Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Yes. One more time. <laughs> All ready. Yeah, Father God. <laughs> mm -hmm. What sign yes. did you uh -huh. give head to? I am not you answering that question. You can't turn around and look at me. So we can't pass. That's against the rules. Can I just drink this? Me drink the white room. You can't pass. Me drink the white room. Sorry. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. For you to assume that I even give head. Well, I know that's right. You never you said you. For you to assume. You never said you didn't. Everybody, y'all saw it prayer first. This is, has what been sweat check. What type already I Kareem thought I was gonna, is. Uh, only three. He only got three. He only answered three questions. I will say that I'm an he American. He took two shots. More than a Jamaican. And okay? answered three questions. Right, Kareem, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. More coming up. <laughs>